Hello guys, welcome to this video. Um, what I'll be showing you guys today is just a form build that I uploaded to my website. It's on my personal website. I got lots of email people wanting to know how to build um, contact form and uh, all that stuff and make it secure. This is concrete bulletproof um, form build. I uploaded it to my site. It won't be here forever. Just be there for a while. So you guys go ahead and build as many forms as you want and just keep them for future use. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how the form builder works and how everything runs um, using this form builder. Okay. So um, first of all, you know, it has the buttons here that you can add to your form. You have your text field, text area, select box, radio button, check box, password field, file upload field, submit button, form title, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go on and on and on until I run out of breath. So anyway, but the first thing you want to set is your form width down here. You first want to tell it what size you want your form to be, how wide you want your form to be. For this example, I'm going to do 500 pixels. It doesn't look like anything changed, but it's going to constrict all these to 500 pixels. So let's grab... Ah, come on. Let's do a form field. So you add a form field. You can go into the pencil icon here and you can name your form field whatever you want it. So I'm just going to call this name. Um, uh, you can change that to I want. Change that validity. So if you want it to be a required field or not, you can uh, leave that. So, okay. So let's add another form field out here. And I'm going to make this one non validator And I'm going to call this one uh, phone. You know, not phone, but company let's call that company so let's call that one company then after company we're going to put out an email field so let's go down to the html5 fields and we're going to put an email field where it has an email address and it says email address on it and you can if you want it to be validated or not um i'll just leave that as validated i'm just going to show you what all of these does we can add some radio buttons. I'm just going to leave those. We're going to add some check boxes. We can add a form upload field so they can click browse and upload a form. You can also, uh, we call it, drag these around, put them wherever you want them to be in whatever order you want them to be in as well. Um, let we, we, let's add a select list. Um, I'm going to drag this up again just to show you guys uh, what else I'm going to add it. Uh, um, let's add a we call it a text field so people can write their comments not text field I mean sorry text area so people can write their comments if they want to do their comments and let's just go ahead for the heck of it and put in a URL field for our website so if they want to put a URL field in they can as well um, I, I can drag these up above check boxes you know actually text field is fine down here Ah, it's great. Um, and then we can also theme it. So we can select whatever theme we want. Right now it's at the default, elegant. And click apply. You see it changed the fields a little bit. Let's go back to the theme again. We're going to choose a different one. We're going to put Aristo. Click apply. As you can see, it changed them to a different theme. All the buttons and everything is changed. I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to insert me a submit button for users to submit the form. And then we're done. Once we're done, you click download. Well, let's cancel this. We can click preview. And it'll show you how your form will work. Choose a file to upload. It will go to your file folders. Um, this is going off screen here. I've got multiple screen. And you can click select um, your select button type. You can change these to whatever you want. You can go back to edit form area, download. And we're going to say download zip or you can download code. Let's download zip. It opens on my other screen, so I'm going to drag back into view over here, and I can save my, my form. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to uh, go to my downloads folder and get that form and show you guys what it looks like. Give me a minute, y'all. Okay, so I'm back. I have the form downloaded. Um, <clears throat> this is the... the, the you call it the folder that you get. You get all the images that's needed to power the form. As you can see here, all the images are inside the, the, the folder. You get the CSS, that part of the form. Um, you can customize that as well. You also get the processing script. This is one that actually submit the form. And you get all the JavaScript that actually runs the form as well, all the validation for the form. Now, it's completely in HTML, so it's not in PHP. Even though the form submit is in PHP, the, 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 the file itself is in um, HTML. Because what it does, it uses JavaScripts. Um, to pull the HTML file, process the form, and submit it back to an HTML document. Now, I have this open up in the stupid browser, as I call it, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, let me open up my stupid browser. 
which is you guys probably guessed it Internet Explorer um, anyway um, so here it is and this is the form it can be your name blah 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 type anything you want to type into it ah, come on blah 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 browse and upload a form I'm not going to really submit it because it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to give me an error because I haven't set it up to go anywhere. So let's upload this image. Um, option one, the website URL, text area, blah, 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 blah. I just type something in them anyway just to see. You also have some great validation scripts and let's hit submit. See, it won't go anywhere because <clears throat> it's going to tell me to open process.php, blah, blah, blah. So, but it works. Um, it's a nice looking contact form. It's a very, very easy way of creating a contact form. You guys have a place to create contact form. There will be a link in the description to where the form builder is located. Build as many forms as you want, like I said. It's just because I've been getting a lot of um, <clears throat> requests for forms. I put up a form builder so you guys can build as many forms as you want. Save them, keep them for future use. Build them in all different styles and whatever you want. Um, just get it done but remember first thing create the width because if you ever um, build the form and then try to choose the width of the form it's going to erase everything so create select your width first remember that okay all right i'm out